Next, you want to cut your double top plate. So just measure your top plate. And then you want to determine whether or not you need to have your double top plate overhanging uh, to connect into the wall that it's butting into. So you want to make sure that you check the wall that your wall that you have just built that's butting into has the double top plate cut back. If the double top plate isn't cut back, you just cut your double top plate the same measurement as your top plate. If it is cut back, you'll, wanna, you'll need to add another three and a half inches, making an overlap on your do double top plates. Now that you have your double top plate cut, make sure that it's flush with both ends. You can feel, make sure it's flush with the top and the end. Now, make sure your hand is clear and out of the way. And nail the other end, make sure it's flush with the plate. And now you're ready to install your wall.